Oh, it's moving fast. Oh, yeah. It's giving him hell. Hey guys, it's Aaron from Dixon Brothers Fishing. Today I'm going to teach you my methods of slide baiting for kingfish and sambos. I'm going to let you guys in on some of my secrets. Um, a few things I've actually come up with um, that increases your chances of catching uh, kingfish and sambos off the rocks. These are some of the things that you need for slide baiting. I've got the unweighted Tackle International slide bait clip and the stopper ring. And heavy um, jigging hooks, nine O's I use. That seems like good size. Got my imp clips there from Busted Fishing. Some, yeah, solid rings. And I've got my heavy leader for the slide rigs. And for the overhead, I like to use the Robex wind-ons in 200 pound. So this is the setup I like to use. Um, South African style uh, low mount rod. Um, that 14 foot, so yeah. Really heavy duty, um, keeps your line away from the rocks and um, yeah, you put more pressure on the fish being low mount. And um, I've got my Abbott LX Raptor, 500 meters of 50 pound TAS line underneath, 24 kilo top shot and the 200 pound um, 10 meter long Robex one on leader. And that's, that's just for abrasion and um, you land more fish on the overhead, um, being like you can cast that longer 10 meter long leader. And yeah, it's just easier to get the fish um, up at the, at the gaff or on the rocks there. Um, but you can use a spin setup, which we've been using um, lately. We've got our um, Ripper Fisher run and exceed 10 foot rod and um, yeah, dog fight reel and that we've got 100 pound Tasline braid on it and we use yeah, long 200 pound leaders again um, just for yeah, the good abrasion and that. Um, the normal way of slide baiting is with the grapple sinker here and you have your lighter leader. I use about um, 60 pound mono, um, breaks off really easy, um, if you get fish to the rocks, um, yeah, and it gets snagged or anything, you can just snap that off and still get the fish. Um, and then you attach that to your solid ring, there, and I usually use um, about a metre long, um, and that usually keeps it, you know, above the weed and that but I've actually got a better way that I've come up with. This is how I set up my slide bait rigs. So you've got your grapnel sinker and you've got your imp clip attached to it and then you've got the Tackle International stopper ring and what I do I have a little solid ring like that attached to my um, 24 kilo or 60 pound mono and then you put that little solid ring onto the imp clip on your grapnel sinker, hook it on like that and what that does is it doubles up the mono you can cast. So you can cast twice as long leaders um, and once that hits the bottom that will release and give it twice as long leader which will make your live bait sit off the bottom. 
um, and yeah, it will increase your chances um, for getting that hook up. This is my slide bait rig. I have an unweighted Taco International slide bait clip and down to about 30 centimeters of 200 pound mono. The reason why I use 200 pound mono is the abrasion is awesome and um, the drag you're running through on some of these fish like has to be like really really heavy. Um, yeah, you don't pop knots as easy and yeah, it handles the reef. Um, and I use uni knots to the slide bait clip to a snell and into another hook. And I use two hooks. Um, it holds in the fish better, you get more hookups and um, yeah, your fish stays um, alive for hours if you um, rig it right. And really, need really, really strong hooks. I just use jigging hooks. Yeah, you can't bend them out and that. Um, yeah, short leader to a live fish. Um, doesn't get tangled in any reef or anything. And um, still swims uh, freely. So once you've caught your live bait, put one hook through the back of its head like that. And the other hook through the back like that. You don't want it on that blue line there because that's its spine. You want it above that. And that there, that will last for hours. So once you get your live bait out, um, yeah, you put on the hooks there and you get your slide bait clip and you get your main line and get that. Put it underneath like that, and then grab it from the back, and then you just thread it all the way around to the front, and then it clips on like that. So I've cast my rod and reel out, now put it in the rod holder. You start to grab your line and then you get your slide bait clip and thread that onto your main line and then Pick up your rod and then let the herring go and slide down your line and just keep bobbing your rod up and down until it hits the, um, the water. You just have to keep your main line tight otherwise the slide bait clip um, can get tangled. Once the fish gets below the surface it'll swim it's the rest of the way down to the stopper ring.
Holy oh, shit! For a sand boy! Woo! Awesome what work! What a way to christen the new dog fight as well! <laughs> that is a horse! Sick fish, bro! <laughs> On the old slide bait and live herring! <laughs> awesome! Woo!